How you doing? Fran Belvitz here with One Day Training. And as I acquired these ear runners, I found them very, very effective to watch the client or runner's movement by isolating one side. So simply put, if they're having a plantar flexation down, which should be only demonstrated in acceleration, opposed to a dorsiflexation up that we want to create for Max Velo in this case, I find it very pivotal that I get the C post to show them first. So I'll let them do what they naturally want to do and then we're going to make the adjustment and the correction with their foot and showing them how to flex certain areas of the body. Okay, so this is very, very important in understanding these two objects when you're accelerating your foot, you want to be at a 45 degree angle or, or plantar flexing going down and vice versa when you're at a max velo position with your body standing straight up. You want to have a dorsiflexation, almost like a flat foot, um, to propel and help bring you to where you want to go as you're sprinting or running. Again, thinking about heel to glue, which will help flex my knee and my hip simultaneously. Dorsiflexation, so bringing my toe, thinking about bringing it through my shin, creating a 45 degree angle with my heel and my glute. As I come down, stacking my foot underneath my hip or my center of mass is pivotal. So if you're putting your foot out in front of you or if you're putting your foot behind you, it's like ripping the e-brake when you're trying to go 0 to 100. Okay, so as I, as I dorsiflex the plant, yes, I'm flat-footed to the ground, but I'm flexing the ground through my toe to help spring me forward. Okay, because if you don't use your heel or dorsiflex when you land... You're not going to use your glute, maximus, medius, and medius, at the full potential. So understanding, when we're at max velo, 180, stand up, we want to make sure we're dorsiflexing our foot so we can utilize the most of our body. Right? Everything that we do in the, in the, in the training, strength well, step ups, hand clean, power clean, squatting, deadlifting. We want to completely be flat-footed so we can use our posterior side to help maximize what our body has for power, force, and strength. In this case, sprinting to where I need to go. So as I do it here, as you'll see, my foot's flat. I'm bringing it directly underneath my center of mass, getting from my heel to toe, pushing through, and then bringing my, ham, or my heel excuse me, back to my hamstring.